I had, by the war's end, I had transferred, uh, it was my own idea, from Sink Pack, Admiral Nimitz, to Fifth Fleet. And that, of course, was a seagoing outfit. I'd been shore based, but on August 1st, 1945, I reported to the commander of the Fifth Fleet, that was Admiral Raymond A. Spruance, and he, uh, knowing that I was leaving a shore based command to join the actual invasion fleet. He asked me if I was looking for excitement. I still remember that. I'm not quite sure how I responded. It was an inadequate response, I'm sure. But he had a better idea of what that excitement was going to be than I did at the time. Uh, and then, of course, a few days later, the uh, atom bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. And uh, that did not succeed in uh, bringing the war to an end. Uh, so a few days after that, another atom bomb was dropped on Nagasaki. And that one got the job done. Then the, uh, the Japanese surrendered. Uh, Hirohito uh, issued a proclamation. And unlike what we see in the Middle East right now, when the emperor said the war is over, the war was over. The Fifth Fleet was going to transport the invasion forces to the shore of the Japanese Empire. And uh, it would, of course, have been confronted by all kinds of, uh, of uh, suicidal uh, forces on the part of the Japanese because their goal was to destroy the invading force before it ever got to shore. So uh, there was going to be a, a real holocaust when, uh, when the Fifth Fleet approached the Japanese islands. And we learned later they had not just the kamikaze, kamikaze people that were in airplanes, but they had suicidal submarines, they had suicidal uh, ships, sea craft. And once we got ashore, uh, everybody, man, woman, and child, were going to be suicidal.